Hello guys, uh, welcome to today's lecture. Uh, my name is Hadi. Today I'm going to talk about uh, do while loop. Uh, we have studied while loop in the previous lecture. Uh, what's the difference between while loop and do while loop? While loop actually executes uh, zero or more times. Zero or more times but it depends on the condition it means it will first check the condition if it was true then it will execute if the condition will, was false then it will not uh, execute that statement even once but what if we want the loop to execute at least one time at least one time here we have the do while as you can understand from its name do while means first you have to do it first once just once do it then check the condition if it was true then do it again if it was false go to the next setting so do while and while this is the difference between these two uh, that's in do while you can just uh, first do the statement once then check the condition if it was true do it again if not, then go to the next segment. This is the syntax. You write do, then statements, then your condition. If it was true, this will, it will do it again and again until the condition gets false. So, this is the flowchart for do while loop. This is the do while. Then there is the statements. Then condition, if it was false, it will exit. If it was true then it will go add to the process and segment again and again so let's go through the example this is uh, an example it takes an input from user user says how much time how many times that it want that hello everyone should be printed so let's just do it and uh, leave C++ first Let's have an uh, integer, mm, the variable is number, it's integer data type, and uh, we have to take it from the user the input, so here. Yeah. Enter the number you want hello to be printed. N. So CN, how much time you want, how many times, as much as the user wants. So it will do it first. Do what? It will do print. Hello. Then it will check it. Don't forget. Then let's just minimize the number number minus minus it will minimize the number then let's just give the condition here until number is greater than zero and semicolon don't forget to put semicolon here it is needed so after that let's just write by next when the execution ends, then it will display by. So let's run it. Enter the number you want hello to be printed. I say five times and enter. See, hello is printed five times. If I say 10 times, let's say 10 times. Ten times. Yeah, this is printed 10 times as much as you want just enter the number it will give you that much hello so this is what we have just four lines of code but it will print as much as you want two times three times four times one thousand times it depends on your users input so guys this was while loop 
uh, next day we will go, we will talk about uh, for loop which is the third loop we have in C++ so guys see you in the next lecture